Okay, so this is a quick video about the update in the VESC Express firmware. This is if you have the latest beta VESC tool and probably in the next stable release too. Now the thing that happens is that you cannot use the bootloader to update it for some reason. I will get into that later. But for now, if you are connected, now the Express is connected. And if you go to connect and to firmware, it is there. But if you do update, it will make an update. But after that, it will not work to write any config to it or to write any scripts. It will not. Uh, it cannot write to Flash anymore. So in order to update it, you have to make sure that you are disconnected here, and then go to ESP Programmer on this side, and then you have this connection box up here. You can also do refresh to make sure that it shows up there, and then you can connect from here. Then I will see down here that you are connected to the C3. Then you take the Vasco Express firmware. And then you use flash using USB. And after you have done this, then it should be ready to go. This should also work if uh, there is something else wrong with it, because this essentially uses the built-in bootloader that always works. So this should not be a problem in future updates, and it should not have been a problem now. And but the thing that happened, at least I think, this is the thing is that. When I made the, when I compiled the first firmware and the bootloader, then I picked in the ESP settings that it should use the DIO and the SPI bus, so it only uses two bits to communicate with the internal SPI flash memory. Uh, by the way, now it's done. It usually says MD5 MD5 checks some timeout, but um, I'm not sure why. But it seems to work anyway. So now, if you do con not cancel, uh, disconnect after you're done, and you connect again, then you should be ready to go. And I think it will still have the old settings if... No, I don't think it will have the old settings if you had a firmware that had different settings before. But now I should be able to write settings to it. Now, what I was saying is that uh, uh, the first firmware that I made, I compiled it and the bootloader with only the I.O. So using two lines for the internal flat chip in DSP. And I don't know why, why it had that setting by default, but uh, it makes the access to the flash memory half as fast. So, which doesn't make a super big difference because it has a lot of caching for that internally. It's quite complicated actually how the caching works. But I figured I'd just put it on a full speed, which uses four lines. And if you have a firmware that uses four lines in the flash chip, and you flash that firmware with the bootloader that uses two lines, then for some reason that I cannot figure out, it cannot, it can lo no longer write to the flash memory once you boot that firmware. But if you do it the other way, if you have the bootloader that has the four line configuration, then you can write both firmwares to it. And if I read the documentation for the ESP, uh, this is for the C3, and you look at the bootloader compatibility, then this line, if I interpret it correctly, tells me that it should work. So I think there might be something wrong in uh, something in the idea for bootloader. So so maybe we'll figure that out later. And if you know something about it, let me know because I would love to know how to not have everyone who has an Express to do the update like this, especially if I have built it in already. But uh, yeah, anyway, to update it, you cannot use the uh, firmware here. You have to make sure that you're disconnected. Go to the ESP program on the left side, connect to the Express up here with this button, pick the Express firmware, flash using USB, disconnect, and it should be done. 